Biomimicry, the science of taking ideas inspired by nature to solve human problems, represents what we believe could be a true economic game changer. Periodically through our history, we've had some major catalyst of economic revolution. The steam engine, the discovery of electricity, microelectronics, the internet, biomimicry could represent another such major economic revolution. Many of you may be familiar with the concept of biomimicry, others of you may not. A couple of examples may explain what biomimicry is all about. One of the first applications came back in 1941 when a Swiss scientist typically took his dog out for his daily walk and came back with the dog's fur full of cockleburrs. Investigating, the scientist came up with what is now known as the Velcro closure, which you see everywhere from the hospital room to the tennis court. One of the most exciting new examples is coming out of a company right here in San Diego, Qualcomm. Qualcomm is developing a new display device for consumer electronics products, GPS systems, notebook computers, cell phones, e-readers, that will allow you to see your device in full sunlight and have a battery life that is about three times what is seen in a typical LCD display. Biomimicry represents what could be a bridge between environmental and business and growth interests. Over the years, we have seen generally environmentalist clash and often violently clash with business interest. But biomimicry allows us to potentially achieve both environmental or sustainability goals and growth or business goals because you find in nature very efficient systems. You will find a system where you are talking about optimizing rather than just maximizing. And so many companies are finding that goods and services inspired by nature are able to provide their customers with much more efficient solutions, such as saving energy dramatically, at costs that are the same or even less than what you would find with traditional products. Biomimicry could transform huge slices of various industries by transforming the very way we design, manufacture, transport, and distribute various goods and services. We estimate that by 2025, biomimicry could impact $300 billion annually of U.S. gross domestic product. It also could save an additional $50 billion through re reduced pollution from CO2 and other sources and through less reduction of our overall resources. Globally, biomimicry could impact some $1 trillion annually of gross domestic product. Could San Diego be the next hub of a biomimicry center? To be a hub, a region would have to have four key characteristics the intellect, the capital, the entrepreneur, and the overall collaborative spirit. And it does appear that San Diego meets all four tests. And the San Diego Zoo could be the core of such a hub. Through its two properties, the San Diego Zoo and the Safari Park, the zoo has some 40,000 plant species and 8,000 animal species. It also has the research base through its Institute for Conservation Research. It is driving collaboration through its new bridge council, and it plans to provide the first global network for biomimicry research and education. In summary, biomimicry could represent a true economic game changer. It could allow us to achieve both environmental and sustainability and business growth objectives. It could be the next major cluster for San Diego's economy following and augmenting biotech and clean tech. And finally, the San Diego Zoo appears well positioned to be the core of what could truly be the next world economic revolution.